California is a leader, not just in the United States, but in the world. And as the new renewable energy sources come online, experts say we have to get better at managing that energy. And the best minds in clean energy met downtown today. CBS 13 meteorologist Lisa Meadows is live now getting answers about what makes California a leader and what it will take to stay ahead. Lisa? Sam and Christina, the two-day energy conference is put on by Cal ISO, and of course, they're the managers of California's energy grid. It brought people from across the world to Sacramento to discuss energy issues and also solutions and why California is a worldwide leader. Energy defines an economy. Energy experts from across the world are in Sacramento this week talking about emerging clean energy technology, and they rank Sacramento's usage and innovation number one in the world. One of the key things that California has shown is that you can have an ambitious clean energy goal and economic growth go hand in hand. And California's clean energy growth has produced several new companies including Smart Wires, which is rolling out a cutting edge technology that could improve energy efficiency. The devices go on the transmission grid and allow you to push and pull power around on your existing grid without having to go make costly upgrades. So will clean energy produce more jobs? With the growth of renewable energy, that's um, that's you know sort of increase the demand for services like ours. Those services are creating new jobs. In fact, the energy industry is about to look a lot different to consumers. The entire energy industry is in a transformation from big wires and big power plants to decentralized model where people put rooftop solar on, they use their own local storage, microgrids. California set a goal of generating 33 percent of its energy from renewable sources by 2020, just two years from now. So how are we doing? We now have over most hours 30 percent or more of the load is being served by renewables. And this is only the beginning. 33 percent we do regularly is not a problem. 50 percent we think is really not going to be too much of a problem either. And coming up here tomorrow, the conference continues with actually colleagues from Germany that will be discussing how to pretty much convert to clean energy for both countries. Lisa Meadows live in downtown Sacramento with more on that. Very interesting.